Hello, สวัสดีครับผมชื่อคีรองคัง and today our topic is เรียนรู้ภาษาไทยนี้5นาที The topic we chose is topic 6 and I would like to thank you our a r c h a n Mrs. Fan s u i t a for giving us this chance to present Thai in 5 minutes. Thank you so much for listening. This slide is prepared by Muhammad Shamir Abdul Muhammad Ramlan, Abdul Rahman b i z a m r i Nikhil r u s a m a n b i n i Mahadi, Muhammad s h a m p r i b i n c h a m u k t a and k i r a n a Hi. In this video, my friend and I will present about lesson number six. I think. Okay. For this slide, these are the low consonant for the Thai words. There are a total of 24 consonants in Thai words. See the example in this slide. For short vowels, there are six examples: a, a, o, o, e, i. For long vowels, there are also six: a, e, o, o, e, i. สวัสดีครับฟอนเจอร์รามันครับ so today we will learn about the Thai word which is combination from the low consonant plus vowel and the tones the first word is mother the pronoun is me next is father the pronoun is pa pa next is wait the pronoun is pro pro next wife the pronoun is mia mia Next is rambutan. The pronoun is ngo ngo. Next mess. The pronoun is le le. Next is you. The pronoun is te te. Lastly, uh, and or then. The pronoun is leo leo. Thank you. To the next part. Now. Let's go to the usage of Thai word to be in subject word object sentence in Thai language. There are three types of word to be in the Thai language, which is pen, you, and ke. Pen, pen is a word that always accompanied by noun phrase or adjective. The example is jam pen tam l u a t which means I am a policeman. You, you is a word to be that used to state the whereabouts of something. The example is "pom you ban," which means "I'm at home." Ke, ke is a word that used to describe the or uh, give meaning something or noun phrase or adjective. The example is "ni ke muat," which means "this is a hat." Thank you, my friend. Now I'm going to explain to you adjective in Thai language. Adjective basically is a word or phrase that describe noun. It's a bit tricky, so let's have a look on it. The first one is sentence structure. In English, it is always adjective first, then followed by nouns. For example, handsome, then guy. But in Thai language, it is another way around. This means noun first, then followed by adjective. For example, guy, then handsome. Now let's have a look. An adjective in Thai language. I'm going to pronounce it with its meaning. Su Wai means beautiful. Ru Wai means rich. Di good. Na Ra cute. Sot fresh. Niao sticky. Lake small. And Yai means big. The example of adjective usage in this sentence will be explained by my friend later. Thank you. Thank you, Mukris. And now we come are going to continue on example of Thai sentences. Okay, as what m u k r i s said just now, Thai sentences is, is constructed with subject, verbs, and object. The only difference between Thai sentence is nouns and adjective. So let's move on to the examples. For example, k a o mi nalika g o n g which means by he has expensive watch. Next, a c h a n swang rong tao s w e which means by teacher wear beautiful shoes. Next, kau si pla tom yam, pla tom yam. Direct translate to Thai is 
fish tom yum, which is the other way around as well. Finally, khao kim khao gai, which means he eat chicken rice. When we direct translate about the object is rice chicken, khao gai. Khao is rice, gai is chicken. Hence, from all this example here, we can see that in time, the nouns come first before the adjective.